Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. I know it's the old version, but that uh, Linux Mint 21.3 is going to be around for a couple more years. So I thought I'd do a couple more videos for that. Today I'm going to talk about putting the same computer image on multiple USB devices at the same time, or USB sticks. Now this is not everybody's cup of tea, but I can tell you one thing. I have uh, several subscribers that actually do a lot of pro bono for the public, just as I do. In other words, their center gathers old computers and then they reformat hard drives and put Linux operating systems on to give to the less fortunate. I will absolutely laud those folks and more importantly I appreciate them doing that for the public. A lot of us spend a lot of times not doing selfish work and these folks should be always rewarded by at least a thank you note when they do stuff. So today I'm going to talk about something that I think is valuable as a tool for them is to create a single computer image to several USB devices so they can install Linux on some of these donated computers. So I'm going to use a tool today that can take a single computer image and distribute that to multiple devices at the same time. I am filming in 1920 by 1080 folks. Whether you are doing this for the noble purpose of doing this for others or doing it for yourself. If you're distributing uh, many different computers, maybe within your small company, whatever your thing is. In either case, welcome folks. Filming in 1920 by 1080. I have two USB devices that have exactly the same thing on it. So I downloaded an ISO. What's an ISO to begin with? An ISO is a computer image, and I'm going to use that same computer image to distribute that on those two devices again. Now Linux Mint provides you with a tool, if you type in USB, called Mint Stick, and it comes with Formatter and Image Writer and you can click one device at a time. I have two identical ones, uh, SDB and SDC, identified by the system that I can format. I'm going to let the tool do the work for me. So more importantly, just be very careful about what you're erasing. So I'm going to type in pop. Why, why pop? Because it's called popsicle. It's an interesting name for a toy that can do ISO images. So what I'm going to do is I preloaded already an image from Linux Mint. And we can talk a little bit about the Linux Mint website while it's performing its work. So it's an ISO image. In other words, a computer image. If you want to check the hash, I'm going to do the 256. But more importantly, I'm going to hit next in a second. And um, it's going to be using uh, two USB sticks, flash drives, whatever you want to call those things. All right, I have them sitting here. Both of them are USB 3s. They're both exactly the same. And the reason I chose that is because to let you see that even though they're exactly identical, like in the file manager here, they currently have images on them currently have software on, on them, they're still separate devices. So as a person that is doing this uh, for others, and thank you for those folks, you can select individual ones or both. I, I just have two, but they're currently identical. So the flash will erase all the data that is currently here and I'm going to replace these. Now currently they have 10 items on each of these devices. 
I made a screenshot over here, which maybe I won't need, but we'll, we'll, we'll approach that uh, basically from the angle of, I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna put in Mary's tester's password. Mary is just a made up name. And you can see that it's running, taking that ISO image and producing that on SDC and B. I only have two devices to show you. For the folks that are doing this for the community, and one more time I'll say thank you, um, you can do multiple USB sticks. So your team can produce more than one stick at a time so you can install that on those donated computers. You can see the time frames are pretty much the same. There's no minimize button. So I'm gonna leave it running. I'm gonna walk over to Mint's website if you are doing this for Mint or other distributions. But while I'm doing this, this thing is still running in the background. So a couple of points about Linux Mint 22. Um, there is three versions, the Cinnamon, the XFCE, which is a lightweight distribution or lightweight desktop and more importantly, it runs lean and mean on new computers, but a lot of people use that for donated computers. I get a lot of uh, comments where I, I actually delete them because I feel sorry for those folks that make those kind of comments that XFC desktops are ugly. They're not ugly. It's because you can choose different backgrounds. You can choose different icon sets, including mouse pointers. So no, they're not ugly. They're lean and mean, actually, and they run on older computers very well. The Mate desktop is more of a traditional desktop. We can go with the download version and talk about LMDE6, the, the one I'm currently burning onto two USB sticks. As you can see, it's halfway done. LMDE stands for Linux Mint Debian Edition. These things can all be found on different, quote, mirrors places in the world you can download things. That's a 2.5 gigabyte image, computer image. It actually comes in 32-bit if you did not know, versus a 64. What's the difference? 64 is made for newer computers, 32-bit older computers. So a lot of the folks that are my subscribers are doing wonderful things for the community around the world putting and repurposing those old computers. Just wanted to make mention of that. A lot of those um, people I call Superman or Superwoman because basically they're doing work that nobody recognizes for the most part. I do. I and I fully understand their purpose. That's why I do videos like this. I don't get paid. I try to basically make videos for the public not only to promote Linux, but the open source software community. Anyways, some of the reputable places you may recognize. Everybody is reputable, but I'm just making mention of a couple of things while it's on the screen. You know, when we get done with this thing, it's gonna produce two USB sticks. I could have put in three. And you can see the progression bar as a person that does this for the public, one more time, thank you. Um, these repurposed computers that a team can use to download one computer image to multiple USB sticks and give in to those volunteers to go and install these things can be done very successfully. Okay, I'm not gonna mount any one of these things. I'm just gonna discuss where the software came from. So walk over to your software manager. Now you may be surprised that uh, if I type in pop and look for popsicle, that's the name of this thing, that uh, it comes from system 76. If you don't 
If you're not that familiar with any Linux distributions out there, um, System76 is Pop! OS. You know, there's a lot of toys that come from Linux Mint, such as TimeShift. They're the maintainer for that particular piece of software. And there's a lot of other different Linux distributions out there that have several pieces of software that most of us do not know where they come from. Because there's a lot of folks in the Linux community that contribute their time, effort, and skill sets to these things. All I'm saying is, basically there's a lot of different software out there given to you, in most cases, for free. The Linux, commun uh, Linux community is vast has been for many years. Linus Torvalds started this movement. Anyways, you can install Popsicle to do multiple ISO images onto different devices such as I did here. I'm just doing two USB sticks. And more importantly, thank you for watching.